Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Test Exercise Learn Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what I'm going to show you is the template that we have in order to control and monitor the Test Exercise Learn using a HMI. So let's go to the presentation. So basically, this HMI is a template that is it was done on Ecosystem Operator Terminal Expert and allowed us to control and monitor the Test Exercise Learn but not just one test island is going to help us to control any test island configuration. So if we go to the next slide, I'm going to start giving you an idea of uh, the traditional way to control a motor and how we can use the test island, then the HMI solution. So, so far in this diagram, I can show you the control of the motor using three different devices and some of the devices can have only only one or two for example the test is you okay this is a different solution or we can use the um, motor circuit breaker along with the overload just in one device in this case i just separated in three and in this case i have uh like a motor one direction for one reverse and there here is going to be like a start delta uh this wiring are not quite right but it's just to give you an idea how it's going to be so in this particular case we have uh, the possibility to have the feedback for the overload we have the feedback for the contactors and we have the signal to turn on and off okay or forward reverse or change between start and delta and with the timing and everything so you can see here i have a bunch of uh cables connected to the plc okay uh, it is fine when you have one two but the problem of wiring can start to escalate as soon as uh, you increase the amount of motors and the type of how you're going to turn it on so the idea of this island is to change this concept of having one particular uh contactor here we use something called avatars that has like a application already developed and you just need to configure the application that you're going to use. For example, in this case, I have uh, one avatar uh, related to one starter, which is the device, the physical device used to turn on a motor. Then I have avatar three in this case, which is for forward and reverse. So I need three contactors. In this case, it's going to be uh, two, uh, two starters. And this last case is the avatar four, which is for forward and um, sorry for start delta. And here you can see they have three contactors. Okay, this starter has the capability as a contactor plus an overload, so that's why I replace the overload part. So the important thing here is that I'm able to replace all those wirings that I have in order to see the signal from the um, contactor by just having this bus coupler and an Ethernet cable. Okay, so you can see the reduction of the wiring on this and then you're going to see the um all the features that we have in order to control this in an easy way in order to control this we have some libraries already developed for a machine expert or a control expert and also for third-party controllers uh like the siemens and also from rockwell we have their libraries free for them in order to use um the thing is that when we use this kind of solution sometimes um to just fix with the configuration of the avatar. So if you want to develop something quickly, uh, you just probably need to spend a little bit more time trying to uh, drag the, the the right function block in order to match with the avatar that you use. It's not that huge problem. But if we want to speed up this process and we want to avoid the use on a PLC, then we can use my, my template. So the idea of this template is to um, easily configure on the HMI define what we already have on the avatar configure and so move okay and then just control and monitor okay simple as that so we enter in now one specific page where we can just select the avatar 2 is a motor one direction the avatar 3 is going to be a digital input the avatar 4 is going to be something and so on and so on and then on the HMI I'm just going to control and monitor the things that's it um then one of the features of having this kind of hmi 
is the OPC UA. So all the variables I'm reading from the HMI are available on the OPC UA. So the HMI is a U, uh, OPC UA server. Okay, so you can use any client in order to access to these uh, two arrays of avatars for the avatars information. Okay, then we have the possibility also to use the web viewer that is basically to to see the uh, the application that you have on your HMI in your smartphone or any other tablet or uh, a computer. But in order to use this web viewer, just need a license, but it isn't that expensive, so you can have it. So this is for the part of presentation, a little bit of introduction. What I want to show you is the real application itself. So uh, let's go to the application. So here you can see uh, how this is, looks like. This is the architecture. So I have the OPC UA already available in order to use. I have the web viewer already available and I have the devices already defined for the um, TCP communication. And here you can see that I already find 18 devices. So in order to communicate the HMI with the PLCs via Mod TCP, and probably you should know, or it doesn't matter, but there is no need for you to know. Each avatar has their own unit ID and depend on the device they're using. So uh, what I have done here is to pre-configure um, some avatars with the same IP address as the Tessis Island. Okay, so in order to connect our application or template, the test design needs to be on Molga TCP and you have already defined a, um, an IP address so we can communicate on the HMI using the HMI. So uh, let's take a look also to the configuration of the OPC UA. So we have that the access and by default, I haven't configured the, the security. So if you need security, or need further things, you just open the application, then download it. Okay, this is the port. And for the web server, this is the port, and this is the securities. I have already defined a few securities just for a few users in case you want it. Um, I believe it's super, super. And there is also admin, admin. So you can use it in case you want it. Okay. Then if you want something different, you can change it over here in the security profile. So let's launch this. I have already had the connection with my Tessis Island. So I'm going to show you here. This is my uh, physical view. Okay. And this is my avatar view. So I have four motors. I have four uh, motor one direction. So let's have a look on the template now. So this is the template. This is the steps, so you can easily follow it. Okay, and let's go to setup. Here we just need to validate the AP address of the test sign on. My case is this one, but you can validate and it will change on the HMI software everything. Next, here we just need to define our configuration. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is to do, 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 do select motor one direction this is going to be motor one this is going to be motor two it's going to be motor one direction so you just need to replicate the same thing that you already have so this is not going to change anything on the island configuration you just need to do it yourself on some move but it will give you all the interface in order to control it then I don't have any more thing, so I can easily change this and check everything because they are not going to be used. Next, here we can update the date and time on the HMI and also on the test island. So uh, today, this twenty twenty four. Uh, and update they will update the time and also uh, the time on the hmi date and time on the hmi and also the test design next 
here in order to check which is your IP address of the HMI. Okay, here is where you need to change it. Okay, just go here, change the settings to be in the same range, in the same network as you have on the Tessis Island, and then save and reboot. Next. And here you can see your avatar view. Okay, so you can go here, select each of the devices. And I don't know if you can hear it, but that was the motor. You can see that it's closed. If you go to this one, motor 2, you can see it's the same thing, but different variables is turned on. Then we can go here, motor 1, turn off, motor 2, turn it off. And also possibility to reset it. We can also go to monitor, and if you're using the temperature sensor, it just show or it should show up the temperature in case you have a uh, the everything already configured which is not my case and you can see here there is no uh, voltage above okay so I, here i can see the feedback from the motor circuit breaker there is no even if the contractor is closed uh, there is nothing above below um, we can also see the status of the bus coupler so if we for example want to to force something so here I'm going to force this in one, okay, force. And if we go here, you can see that it's closed. This one is closed, but it's in force mode. Okay, so if we go here and not apply and exit the force mode, you can see that the island is no longer in force mode. Okay, and Imagine now that you want to change this because you don't want to use this configuration. You have another one. Okay, no worries. You just go to Avatar's configuration and check this. For example, this is going to be a power interface. Uh, la la la. Uh, this is going to be, I don't know, digital input. Um, something. And this is going to be um, analog input. Okay, this is going to be uh, hola. Okay, and I don't want to use this avatar anymore. Okay, so here you can see that it changed everything. Depends on the configuration that you have. So here I have the control of this one. Monitor has the same thing, but this one, which is digital, it just show different things. Okay. Um, and of course, you can see this in red because that information is not available on the avatar because I have a different avatar here. But you can find everything related. So it's everything really dynamic and it will change depending on the configuration that you have. And something I add, I add here, the features, web viewer, where you can find further information how to access to the web viewer. Uh, you can also have the information how to access to the OPC UA and how to uh, some of the things I'm planning for the future. Okay, using this. If we go here, we can go to the help just to give you further information about how to connect to the test site and all of the things that you need to do. And also the alarms. Actual, is there is any actual alarm or the historical one. That in my case, I have this design in force mode before. Okay, so, um, I had a few things, I made some modification, but the important thing here is that we can do uh, a bunch of stuff here. Let's go now to the um, web viewer. So this is the web viewer. So I'm going to use the, the web viewer to access here. Okay, I'm going to set up this again. Validate, yes. Um, I'm using, for example, just motor one direction is going to be a pump, pump one, and, and I'm going to use that one. Okay, next, here is already a data because it's reading information from the, um, from the island. 
next here okay and i'm going to touch this now just really think a little bit so here you can see i have the control of this one control pump and it's turning on close okay um here if we go to the other oh, configuration we should be able to see more can and check it what are not using okay so i have a possibility to be flexible here and do whatever i want and i can also see the alarms okay so everything that you have for the simulation you have it here already this to have some of the things on some move here already for us to to control um so far we are not able to use the configuration some of the parameters at the moment just waiting for a few new releases of the firmware in order to start doing that but in the future will be possible to change some of the parameters of the avatar that we have selected so let's take a look on the screen this is how it looks like so i should be able to control here and turn it on and if i use this you can see here i have like a look at control i have uh, some push buttons and then turn it on but you can see the everything over there um so i have full functionality of this the other thing that i want to show you is the is the opc ua so um so i'm going to test this we just you just to show you how it looks like so here i'm going to add the connection of these uh, of the hmi so we need to connect to the hmi there's no security at all going to connect and here you can see in the target i have the avatars and i have the bus coupler information here uh, so in this particular case the avatar one this particular case is the unit id okay so the unit id is going to be like the avatar 2 that you have in your configuration so here you should be able to access to the pump one okay and here for example do, 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 if you go to command run you can see or i believe you hear it uh it's in run mode uh, if we go here about the configuration and select this motor one um, pump one the thing that you see this different is because this is work this is running on the on my computer and the other one is running on the um, on the HMI okay that's why you have different things over there by controlling the the island okay so you can see it's running just want to show you that i'm not lying to you <laughs> that's why so here as you can see it's going to be open okay so um this is how we can work with this template so the idea is to easily control the motor without the need of using a plc and spend a little bit of time trying to add some function blocks to make it work here which has made the configuration or define what is configured in the test side and then we just operate and that's it okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you in the next one Thank you.